Before we begin phasing capacitive test points, using the Beer PD50 all-purpose utility meter, we want to take a few minutes and do a visual inspection of all the tool components. Make sure the meter probe is free from any dirt, grease, cracks, or any deep scratches that may impair the built-in safety features of the tool. Also take a few moments to inspect the second probe and the interconnect cable in the same manner as the meter probe. Once all the visual inspections are complete, perform a self-test on the meter probe by turning the selector switch to the test switch position and hold it there for a couple seconds to determine the internal 9 volt DC battery voltage level. This meter displays a 90, so that means the internal battery has 9 volts. If the meter displays a 70, which is 7 volts or lower, it's time to replace the battery. After the self-test, connect the interconnect cable and attach the live line tool adapters. In this demonstration, we are using our Beerer Universal Stick Adapters so we can perform what's called a known voltage test. In this demonstration, we are using the Beerer 3 kV power supply which will test the meter probe circuitry, the interconnect cable, and the second probe for a complete and extremely safe 100% high potential test. After testing the meter assembly for proper operation, connect the hook adapters to both probes for overhead work. Turn the meter probe selector switch to the correct position for the potential to be tested. The overhead potential in this demonstration is 24 kV phase to phase, so the selector switch is in the 50 kV switch position. Before any phasing is done, make sure each phase is energized to the correct phase to ground potential. In this demonstration, the correct potential is approximately 14 kV phase to ground. With the second probe connected to the neutral conductor, take each phase reading and note the potential level. Since the PD50 is a true RMS meter, the voltage potentials will be accurate within 1%. Notice how the two phase potentials to ground are the same potential, each approximately 14 kV. But the third phase has been intentionally set up to demonstrate an induced voltage situation. With the meter probe still in the 50 kV switch position, the meter reads between 1.2 and 1.3 kV. If we want to determine better accuracy, we need to put the meter probe in the 2 kV switch position and test the potential again. Now we can determine the potential with 1 volt precision. Notice now the meter displays approximately 1385 volts. And if we notice this circuit demonstration the open knife switch is the reason this phase is induced and not nominal. Phase to phase readings are taken in the same manner and accuracy as the phase to ground with the exception of the second probe touching a phase conductor versus the neutral conductor. Notice the reading of approximately 24.5 kV phase to phase. Always remember to test the PD50 after your work is done to verify proper operation. If you have any questions using the PD50 for overhead phasing, please contact us at customer underscore service at beermeters.com or you can call us at 803-786-4839. Stay safe and have a great day.